Let's start with, and you go, Mark Paul, touches the other way in the microphone, because that will be the one who's to throw the question to our, to our candidates. This time we have, of course, candidate number one. It's judge number one, Carl Clint Liu. Sir, I would like to remind everyone to please be silent while our candidate is answering the question. Again, Hilo at Atom Lamababa, Santang Napaton na Atom Kandidata, Hababo Hininga in the Plano, Atom Diri Mahilon, Isipur Nala, Nanduli Hayu Balay. Ladies and gentlemen, the question has a portion for cabinet number one. Sir, Good evening, Good evening. Are you ready for So my question is, if there's one destination in Barawa that you would like to promote, what will it be and why? Again, if there's one destination in Barawa, that you would like to promote, what would it be and why? Burrowin nowadays has a lot of tourist attractions. But if I were to promote one tourist attraction here in Burrowin, it would be the Mahatnao Volcano National Park. I would promote this tourist attraction because I would like to describe to the tourists the beauty of the natural, the beauty of this is my national park, the natural, the natural beauty, the natural resources, and the, the hospitable people that are living there. I want to promote um, the lake there because it's really refreshing and and it will and it will gain up. promoting Mahagna National Park. Will help the local, our Burao and the local community to get, to develop, to economic, to economic development. Um, and because of that, a lot of employment can be given to the citizens there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Mayor Number One, promoting Mahatma National Park. Thank you. Wow. Listen. And that is. Judge number three, Antonio G. Cinco. Hello, good evening. Hello, sir, good evening. Uh, are you relaxed? Do you feel relaxed? Actually, I'm not, but I can handle it. Good. You are aware that uh, the Philippines is losing the uh, Southeast Asian Games? Yes, sir. 30th edition. Yes, sir. Okay, my question is very simple. If Sea Games athletes will come to Burawi, what athletic activities are you going to offer to them? I will repeat. If Sea Games athletes will come to Burawi, what athletic activities are you going to yeah. Thank you, sir. So, if the Southeast Asian Athletics will come here in Borowin, I will um, choose the basketball, which is very common here in our municipality. Since we help um, Liga of Barangay every every year before the every year before the fiesta is um, being celebrated. That will be the most um that will be the most um chosen um Olympic here in Burawan because most of the Burawan are good players of basketball. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you, thank you so much. Team number two, offering basketball course in the Sea Games and their team. Thank you, team number two.
resilient and tolerant. Determined in a way that Borowen has experienced a lot of difficulties, challenges in the community, one of which is a typhoon Yolanda. We have experienced that su such a disaster. But we Borowenans, I myself also, became determined to keep going. Santa is resilient because I am a woman who knows to continue even because of this challenge challenges as a hindrance to stop me and that is one of the attitude that a Barawanan woman or even Barawanan man has. Lastly is tolerant because even amidst diversity, even amidst scarcity of any resources that might happen sometime, we became positive thinker thinking that we can achieve the goal that we envision as one community in unity. So ladies and gentlemen, as a woman of Barawan, I will encourage each and every one of the Barawanan that if together we be, together we can. Thank you. Thank you very much. So much. And the great qualities of being a Barawanan. Thank you. Derek number six. Now, we have judge number three, Antonio G. Singh.
to our constitution. Like what is stated in the preamble of the 1987 constitution? It is stated there that okay, it is stated there our lawmakers before, before they amend our constitution, before they amend the first rules, the first laws that govern us, they begin their noble task by asking for God's assistance in establishing a community founded with justice and love and in establishing a community which works for gender and social equality. And all of us Filipinos and all of us as citizens, we must ensure that the current society that Philippines have should mirror to the kind of society that our constitution would like to create. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Kendrick. Number seven. Let me have your judge number five, April Smith. Okay, so my question is, which have you learned most from your formal education or the school of life? Again, which have you learned most from your formal education or the school of life? Thank you, Mom. I learned most in my formal education because in the very first place, the formal education starts in the family. As we all know, um, if, if we are going to, to educate a child or a, a child brother, it must be learned from the family before in the school. Because how can he or she perform in school, in good, if in the very first place, he or she, he or she is not be, being teach in in the family or in the house. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Now, I'll thank number eight here. Values from judge number four was the little boy Costa.
there's anything that you would like to change in Moralem, what would it be and why? Again, if there's anything that you would like to change in Moralem, what would it be and why? The community itself is perfect. We have a, a plenty of water since you are the capital of spring of Lake. One thing I would like to change is the attitude. In my advocacy, I focus as on the people who have defects that are not being respected. I would like to use my voice of helping those people who have defects to be respected. I personally, I have two sisters who have speech defects. As what they have said, I've witnessed how shy they were in showing themselves in public. I know how to respect people. And I would like to spread it to everyone. I would like to share the capability to everyone in order for them the feeling of being respectful. And of course, if you are respecting human, you will be respected as well. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, starting this night, let us start accepting all people, no matter what and who they are. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Number 10, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect. That's what we all got here in this hall. Once again, let's give, of course, our resounding applause.